Um, the rumors were, in the offseason, John Elway was going to sign Brock Osweiler, well, the backup quarterback, to a contract extension. Is this a good rumor? But, is this like... No, a it's of, a good rumor. He was seriously considering it. Is it, it. your rumor or something that was he on He was the seriously internet? considering it. Okay, all right. Um, but he backed off for the time being. Why would he back off from that? And do you think he should have backed off, or do you think they should secure Osweiler over the next few years? He's in the final year of his rookie deal. Uh, why should have they backed off? Because Brock Osweiler stinks. I mean... Um, no faith, huh? I, I made this... People will say all the time in my business, and, and I understand, because they aren't paying attention. I love college football. I watch a ton of college football. Brock Osweiler, if I remember correctly, maybe I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, got his coach fired as a college quarterback. That's not a really good thing on your resume. Um, Jake Plummer went to Arizona State, made Arizona State, lowly Arizona State, something in college football. I didn't think Brock Osweiler was a good draft pick from the start. I don't think it made any sense for this football team. And has he gotten better? Sure he has. But do I believe he's do I believe he will ever be a multi-year starter for this team? No, I don't. So you vote no on an extension. You're glad Elway didn't sign him. Before. Yeah, but most likely it comes down to money, doesn't <coughs> it? That Brock wanted a little more, and Elway said, okay, we'll just wait. Yeah, hmm. I, I, and I think that's part of it. I think, I think Elway's having a hard time figuring out exactly what he should be paying Brock Osweiler and whether or not Brock Osweiler is, in fact, the future. I want to go a few things uh, to back up something you said. Not back up, but uh, yeah. another... Asset aspect of that was he's only started 18 games since he was in high school and in high school he was basically a basketball player who played football on the side and then decided I guess that he had a better future as a 6-7 quarterback than he did as a 6-7 power forward uh, I, at Boise State in that where he was going to go or Oregon State mm -hmm. one of those two is a basketball player oh, yeah. <clears throat> and he backed off that and went to Arizona State as quarterback uh, it's so he didn't start. He was a backup. He came in one game and had a great game in the second half, but they lost the game. Then he started and they didn't play very well. I think they were four and seven or something like that that year, or four and eight. And then his coach got fired. Who was a famous coach? Help me out. Dennis Erickson. Dennis er Erickson, who went off to another Every, school. He went everywhere. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, Washington. NFL uh, and college. Yeah. yeah. And so that that was always curious to me. Uh, he was John Elway's kid's roommate, so Jack Elway Jr. So that probably was somewhat influenced. Of, I don't think John Elway drafted him because of that, but I think yes, that's why he was more familiar. That's with why he was he yeah. was more familiar with Brock yeah. Osweiler. Most people and John uh, really believes he's a good judge of quarterbacks. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I said to Les yesterday, I'd offer him three years. $10 million, and he thought that was too much, didn't he? No, no, no. That he wouldn't take it. Okay, no, my, my, my thought was that if you're going to give him an extension, you have to pay him like a starting quarterback in the league because you're assuming he's going to be your starting quarterback. What What is that number? I don't know what that so number is. Then I think that I, you're answering the reason why he hasn't been signed. It's because it's hard to determine that number. Yeah. Whether you're like me and you consider Brock Osweiler a suspect until otherwise proven, or you're like John Elway, who's obviously had a lot of faith in him from the start, it's still really hard to... Is it $3 million a year? Is it $5 million a year? What is it? Because he hasn't been out there. And here's something else. Gary Kubiak's here now. So Gary Kubiak's going to make his own judgment. Yes. You can't give him a contract. So I assume, that's why I ask you, if you said offseason, well, Gary Kubiak was here in the offseason, probably didn't see enough of him, and has nobody's seen enough of him because we've only seen him in exhibition games. Yeah, so John will probably rely on, on Gary's assessment through preseason uh, training camp and if he gets some snaps in the, in the regular season I as well. I made yeah. this deal to Sandy Clough, to Rod Spolo, to Les Shapiro. I'm going to make you a bet okay. for, di for dinner. Over under uh, 100 snaps this year, not counting kneel downs. And without Peyton Manning getting hurt, under. But no, no, that's not how you make a bet. You don't go. You don't, I'm no, always looking for an angle, Woody. There are no rules in a knife fight. Haven't you ever watched Butch Cassidy? <laughs> that's why, that's why I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> I think he's going to get a significant number. I think it's going to be under as well. 
I do too. That, that and for Sandy and Ron think it's going to be over. Yeah. They think he's going to play live, under. So. Yeah. Okay. And that's why we never invite them onto the show. What? <laughs> that first segment brought to you by Harmony Foundation. It's Colorado's premier treatment program for drug and alcohol addiction. It's located just outside of Estes Park. They've got a very nice, very private 45-acre mountain campus. You can get better there. They are insurance friendly. Visit HarmonyFoundationInc.com if you feel the need.